Brother Norbert on the Morning Gospel Rice Show. Um, you are listening to AAR Radio. Wherever you are, I would like for you to tune in. I would like for you to share. I would like for you to also be a part of our family. If you haven't liked the page, you can go on AAR Radio on Facebook and like the page. I have a very interesting message for you this morning, wherever you are. Reclaiming your power. And the subtitle is Emotional Bondage. I'd like for you to grab your Bibles wherever you are 
I have a very interesting message for you this morning. Reclaiming your power. And subtitle emotional bondage. There are so many people that are dealing with emotional bondage. Our scripture for this morning is going to be taken from the book of Revelation, chapter 21, verse the number 6. Revelation chapter 21, verse the number 6. As you're listening, please grab your Bibles and we're going to be opening from reading from Revelation chapter 21, verse the number 6. Hallelujah. Reclaiming your power. Subtitle Emotional Bondage. That's what I'm going to be talking about this morning. And so wherever you are, I would like for you to stay put, stay tuned, and let's push the gospel. Hallelujah. Have you found yourself in a place, in a situation where it's like you are losing hold and you are losing grip on your emotional life? Have you invested so much into something emotionally and all of a sudden it's not working for your good and it's not working for your favor? Well, this morning I have a message for you. I have an information for you. I have a word from above for you. A word that would equip you. A word that would inform you. A word that will cause you to come out of that emotional bondage. And so I would like for you to stay tuned. I would like for you to stay tuned and share. Hallelujah. 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 
Hallelujah. Good morning. This is your brother Norbert, uh, live on AAR Radio. Uh, I have a message for you this morning, and my, my, my message for you this morning is entitled It's entitled Reclaiming Your Power. Emotional bondage is the subtitle. This morning I have a very important message for you. This morning I have a very important message for your mother. I have a very important message for your father. I have a very important message for you wherever you are listening to me. There are so many bondages in life. There are so many bondages that holds the children of God and cripples the children of God and prevents them from fulfilling their mandates in life and prevents them from seeing the glory of God manifest in their life. There are bondages that destroy the life of the children of God. There are bondages that becomes an embargo around the children of God. There are bondages that prevents the children of God from seeing the fruit, from seeing the favor, from encountering the face of God. There are bondages that have hindered so many people and as a result of that they couldn't manifest their purpose. They couldn't manifest the glory of God in their life. They couldn't see the face of God manifest in their life. There are bondages that will stop you from fulfilling your dreams. And so this morning I want to talk to you about reclaiming your power. Reclaiming your power in the Lord. Reclaiming your power to be on an overcomer. Reclaiming your power to make you above the storm. Reclaiming your power to be able to speak to your mountains. Reclaiming your power to be able to speak to the situations around you. Reclaiming your power to be able to speak to the problems that you find yourself going through. This morning I want to share a message with you. And the message I have and I want to share with you is entitled Reclaiming your power reclaiming the power that you have given away the power that you had the power that god had given you the power that you had and that all of a sudden as a result of some kind of bondage you have given up that power as a result of some kind of bondage you have found yourself wanting in life as a result of that bondage, everything in your life is dry. As a result of some kind of bondage, you are struggling in life. This morning I have a message for you. This morning I have a word for you. I have a word from the Lord for you. You have found yourself invest so much into a relationship. You invested your all, your time, your money, your emotions and everything. And at the end of the day, you couldn't see or fulfill or, or see anything or get a reward back. And you have been disappointed. And as a result of that disappointment, you find yourself in an emotional bondage. You find yourself in a situation that you don't know how to come out of. You don't know where the, the hope is coming from. You don't know where the door is to be open for you to come out of that bondage. This morning, I have a word for you. You might have been betrayed. You might have been uh, 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 disappointed. You might have found yourself in a situation that you never saw yourself or foresaw yourself having to go through or get there. But you were there. And you wonder, how can I come myself out of this bondage how can i get myself out of this hardship how can i find get myself out of this situation my brother my sister i want to announce to you this morning that as long as the lord remains on the throne as long as his name is yeshua hamashiach as long as he is the way the truth and the life as long as he's the man that walked upon the waters, I want to announce to you this morning that there is hope. I want to announce to you that there is a power above any other power that can break the yokes of the enemy that has been placed on your life. 
There is a power that can re remove you out of that bondage. And so this morning I want to talk to you about reclaiming your power. You must learn to reclaim your power. You must not allow any man to control when to be happy and when to, to be sad. You must not give the keys to your joy, the keys to your happiness into one another man's hands. We have made so many mistakes and we have made, committed so many errors. And as a result of that, we have paid so many prizes. But today I want to announce to somebody that you have the power to come out of that bondage you have a god that has the know-how and knows how to get you out of that bondage you find yourself in a bondage and emotionally you are attached to somebody that is not supposed to be in your life but one way or the other through the orchestrations of the enemy you find yourself attached to something and as a result of that it is hindering you it is preventing you it has become a stumbling block in your life and you do not know how to come out of it you do not know how to break that yoke you do not know how to get yourself out of that this morning i want to announce to you stay put do not turn or change or, or scroll down I have a word for you. I have a message for you. I have a word that will cause you to come out of that bondage. I have a word that will cause you to see God in your in your passion, to identify God in your predicament. That will God will deliver you. That God will open the door for you. That God will bring you out of the bondage. Once upon a time, the children of Israel found themselves one more time in bondage. And the people that put them in bondage begins to tell them that, sing a song for us. The response of the Israelites was, how can we sing the lost song in a foreign land? How can we sing the lost song in such a tough time? How can we sing the Lord's song in such a situation as we find ourselves? How can we sing the Lord's song when our hands have been held against our will? How can we sing the Lord's song when our foot has been put into shackles? How can we sing the Lord's song when we don't know how we come out of this bondage? How can we sing the Lord's song? And so the children of Israel in captivity, in bondage, in hardship, in difficulties, in challenges were compelled to sing the Lord's song in their time of hardship. And as a result of that, they, they looked around them. They looked at their present situation. They looked at their present condition. They looked at the hot shackles that were placed on their hands. And they said to themselves, how can we sing the Lord's song in a foreign land? Somebody out there, you hearing my voice, you find yourself in a situation where you do not know how you got there. You do not know when you are coming out of it. And you are in bitterness. You find yourself stuck in a situation and you wonder where God is in your situation. You wonder where God is and where God has God forsaken you or forgotten you. And because of that, you, you feel as ending it. You feel as you are an entity to your society. You feel as you are an entity to your family. You feel as you are an entity to your children, to an entity to your friends. I came this morning to announce to you I came this morning to tell somebody that there is a power that supersedes every power. There is a name that at the mention of that name, every knee will bow. And at the mention of that name, every tongue will confess. There is a name 
when mentioned the, the, the demons flee there is a name when mentioned principalities free there is a name when mentioned all, all kinds of aquatic masters and practitioners begin to flee that name is the name of the son of the living god this morning i would like for you to share i would like for you to call somebody tell them to tune in tell them to be a part of this message and i am believing god that by the end of this message somebody will receive a rema word somebody will receive a word that will cause them to come out of their hardship that will cause them to come out of that bondage that will cause them to come out of their shackles that will cause them to come out of their chains this morning in the name of jesus hallelujah why have you cried all night why have you wailed all night and sleepless night and you wonder god where are you in my life do you wonder god what at all have i done that you have desolated me that this bad god what is it that i've done that has caused me to be in this situation this morning i want to announce to somebody that we are going to reclaim the power that we have if your power has been taken away from you if the glory of god has been taken away from you if the mandate of god has been taken away from you if the mantle of god has been taken away from you this morning i want to announce to you that you can reclaim that power you can reclaim that success you can reclaim that that thing that you lost in your life hallelujah our scripture for this morning is taken from the book of revelation chapter the number 21 verse 6 and i read if you are with me open your bibles to revelations chapter 21 verse 4 Revelation chapter 21 verse 4 and I read and God will wipe away every tears from your eyes or from their eyes there shall be no more death nor sorrow the crying nor crying there shall be no more pain for the former things have passed away hallelujah let me read it one more time the book of revelation chapter 21 verse 4 and i read and god will wipe away every tear from their eyes my brother my sister my mother my father what is it that has caused tears to be in your eyes what is it that has caused you to be crying to be wailing and have a sleepless night what is it that you have caused you to be crying unstoppably and wailing and don't know how you got yourself in that situation and all you do is cry and wail well i have a message for you in the book of revelation chapter 4 21 verse 4 the bible says and god will wipe away every single tear from your eyes every tear that you have cried every time that you have spent crying and wailing and being in confusion i want to announce to you according to the word of god this morning revelation chapter 21 verse 4 that god will wipe away every tear from your eye you will no longer be crying anymore your tears are about to be wiped that tears that has caused you to be stuck in a position where you need not to be stuck today i want to announce to you that that tear is about to be wiped away for you you lost a dear one you lost a family member 
you lost a loved one and as a result of that you have not been able to come out of it you have not been able to fully and totally recover from it and so all you find yourself doing is crying all you find yourself doing is wailing all you find yourself doing is sitting down and pondering and wondering about why god would allow you to lose that person why god will cause that person to leave why god will cause that person to die and as a result of that you are stuck you are stuck and you don't know how to come out of it this morning i want to announce to you that if god is saying that he will wipe the tears from your eyes i believe my god will be able to wipe that tear from your eye that sorrow that you find yourself in that wailing that crying that you find yourself going through i want to announce to you that god is about to wipe your tears he's about to lift you up he's about to liberate you he's about to leave you out of that bondage out of the hardship out of that thing that has cost you to stop well this morning i'm talking about reclaiming your power hallelujah and i'm talking about emotional bondage there are types of bondages or bondage there is an emotional bondage there is a psychological bondage there is a mental bondage there is a spiritual bondage there is a physical bondage hallelujah but this morning i'm going to be focusing on emotional bondage the bondage that you are not able to see but it is in your life it is the matter of the heart matters of the heart that have crippled you that has hindered you that has stopped you matters of the heart that you find it hard to even talk about sometimes you'll find it hard to explain yourself and talk about it because it is a matter of the heart it is a situation that is found in your heart maybe somebody has broken your heart maybe somebody has disappointed you maybe somebody promised to marry you and didn't marry you maybe somebody decided to uh, uh, be in your life and become life partners lifted you up to a certain level and dropped you and as a result of that you are broken you are in confusion and then you wonder how can i come out of this bondage how can i come out of this un uh, 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 unstoppable pain how can i come out of this encroaching uh, pain of the heart emotional bondage you what you once was married you once saw your dream come through you found yourself married to a man or a woman and you love the woman so much and you love your partner so much then all of a sudden something happened and you lose that partner and you divorce and as a result of that divorce your life has come to a standstill as a result of that divorce you are not able to move forward past that divorce as a result of that divorce everything is dry in your life and you wonder how can i come out of this how can i come out of this pain how can i come out of this situation that i find myself in my brother this morning my sister this morning i want to tell you that the bible says in revelation chapter 21 verse 4 that the lord god himself shall wipe every tear from your eyes there shall be no more death see there are some people as a result of emotional bondage they are spiritually dead this is what the scripture is saying there shall be no more sorrow no 
crying. There shall be no more pain. For the former things have passed away. And so my question to you this morning. Why are you still living in the past? Why are you so focusing on the past? Why are you so stuck on, 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 on the past? The reason why your foot is meant to four point forward and not planting backwards is because God expects you to move forward. God expects you to grow. God expects you to expand your territory. God expects you to move forward into other things, into other form, places in life. Stop focusing and dwelling on the past. Do not allow your past dictate what ought to happen for you in your future. Just because you were disappointed. Just because somebody promised to marry you. Just because somebody said something good to you and didn't fulfill it. And as a result of that, you are stuck in emotional bondage. I want to announce to you, that is not the end of your life. That is not the end of your life. There is hope for the future. It might be so painful today. It might seem as though there is no hope. It might seem as though nobody can see you because you are suffering in silence. You are struggling in silence. You are scared that when you talk about it, people will make mockery of you. You are scared that the moment you begin to talk about it, people will start to tag you. And it is quite unfortunate that people begin to tag you per your situation. People begin to give you names as a result of the predicaments you find yourself in. People begin to make mockery of you as a result of the challenges you find yourself in. People begin to say all kinds of things about you because of where you find yourself today. Your enemies wish to see you stuck where you are. Your enemies wish to see you at the same place where they met you. They do not want to see anything good come out of you. They do not want to see testimonies come out of you. They don't want to see you progress in life. But this morning I want to announce to you. Until you lift up yourself. Until you encourage yourself. Until you motivate yourself in the Lord. Until you begin to speak good of yourself and speak good concerning that situation coming out of that situation will be easy with God on the boat we are secured with God in the ship we are safe with God in the ship we know that we can succeed and we shall survive with God if God be for us who can be against us who can rise up against us if God be for us your husband came home and told you that he does not want to be married anymore to you and gradually there was a divorce and because of that divorce you cannot move forward you are emotionally in a bondage you are emotionally crippled you are emotionally in stagnation and you cannot come out because you have a fear of the past repeating itself and so you do not know how to love anymore you do not know how to show affection anymore you do not know how to accept people into your life anymore and it is fighting you my brother my sister that pain that you find yourself going through that hardship that you find yourself going through that emotional bondage that you find yourself in today i want to announce to you that you can come out of it you can be liberated out of it you can be excruciated out of it you can be removed out of it when god is with you when god is for you when god speaks on your behalf when god is on the boat you are unstoppable nothing can hinder you nothing can stop you your destiny is not in the hand of any man 
your destiny is in your own hands if you allow a man into your heart you give them the permission to be able to control how you feel how you move when to be happy and not but if you allow God into your heart he preserves you he protects you he covers you with his wings he makes sure that nothing bad will happen to you he makes sure that anything that has happened to you in the past will not repeat itself he makes sure that no man can come and break you anymore he makes sure that that emotional bondage is removed and uplifted from you and so cling onto the word of god if you find yourself spending nights and not sleeping and all you find yourself is because you are in pain somebody has hurt you so bad somebody has butchered your heart and you do not know how to come out god is saying in his word that he is wiping away every tear from your eye there will be no more death and there will be no more sorrow the pain in your heart is going away in the name of jesus The Bible says in the book of Psalms, chapter 147, verse 3, He heals the broken heart and binded up the wo- their wounds. This morning, I want to announce to you that God is healing you. God is healing you of the brokenness. God is healing you of the pain. God is healing you of the sorrow. God is healing you from that hardship in the name of Jesus. Your past is meant not to kill you. Whatever you have done in the past, God doesn't care about your past. He cares about your future. He cares about what you will do when the storms come. How you will come out of it. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 18 verse 2, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. If you allow God to be your rock, if you allow God to be your deliverer, if you allow God to be your fortress, that pain, that emotional bondage can be removed. That emotional hardship can be removed. It can be removed in the name of Jesus. You've allowed your emotions to stop you. You've allowed your emotions to hinder you. But this morning I want to announce to you that God can do all things. God can take you out of the merry clay. He can take you out of the emotional disorder. That discomfort that you are finding yourself in. God can take you out of it. So depend on the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Give your all to the Lord. Allow God to work on you. God will not allow anything that is bigger and greater than you to come upon you. God will not allow anything that will send you to the grave to come upon you. God will not allow the enemy to kill you. God will not allow anything to destroy you. That problem that you are going through is as a result of an experience. Maybe God is preparing you for a greater work. Maybe God is preparing you for a greater mandate. Maybe God is preparing you for a greater mission. And the only way he can teach you is to put you through that hardship. Is to put you through that process. Is to put you through that challenge, that experience. It doesn't mean that your end has come. If it didn't work out, it doesn't mean that you are no longer uh, uh, beautiful. If it, if it didn't work out, it doesn't mean that nobody cares about you. If nobody cares for you, God cares for you. There are so many children and the youth dealing with a lot of emotional bonding. And they cannot find anywhere to 
pour out their heart they don't know how to even approach their mothers and their fathers because they feel as though when they approach their mothers and their fathers their fathers will reject them they wouldn't want to talk to them about love they wouldn't want to talk to them about anything emotional but i want to announce to you if you are a mother or if you are a father listening to me make time for your children make time to talk to your children for all you know they might be going through things that you have no idea about they might be going through things that you have no clue about they might be going through things that you have no uh, 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 understanding about you do not know because you do not communicate with them if god cares for you and if god cares for for the children of israel then you must care for your children you must make time to talk to your children you must make time to hear them out there are so many suicidal events happening these days children are killing themselves children are ending their lives they are doing all kinds of things to end themselves their lives because of emotional bondage because of emotional pain because of emotional hardship because of emotional distress this morning i pray for somebody out there if you find yourself going through anything emotional i pray that may the lord guard your heart may the lord protect your heart may the lord liberate you and lift you up out of that distress may the lord emancipate you out of that difficulty may that emotional bondage not kill you before your time we speak against it in the name of jesus we pray that god himself will liberate you out of it in the name of jesus Hallelujah, you are listening to AAR Radio. Anybody listening to me? May God be your shield. May God be your protector. May God lift you up above the storms in the name of Jesus. Revelation chapter 21 verse the number 4 And God will wipe away every tear from your eyes. There shall be no more death. There shall be no more sorrow. No more crying. There shall be no more pain. For the former things have passed away. Forget about your past. Forget about the events that happened in your past. Forget about the things that went on in the past. That caused you not to trust. If you are seriously looking for trust trust in the lord if you are looking for healing believe in the lord for god shall heal you god shall lift you up he shall liberate you in the name of jesus hallelujah the book of jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14 heal me lord and i will be healed save me and i will be saved for you are the one i praise if god can heal you if god can save you if god has been able to save the children of israel from hardship if god has been able to save uh, david from the wickedness of saul of paul so if God has been able to save many from the wickedness of, uh, of the king of Persia, how much more you? 
God can save you from that storm that is going on in your life. God can save you from that storm in your marriage. God can save you from that storm in your relationship. Whatever you find yourself in, wherever it is, I want to announce to you that God can save you. God can speak to your storms and your storms shall be still. God can provide for you when you least expect. God can lift you up from that mud. God can heal your broken heart. God can mend that broken heart. God can mend that broken spirit. God can heal you from that emotional distress. Some people begin to believe in men. You believe in people. You believe in all kinds of things. But I want to announce to you that if you take the word of God and you depend your life on the word of God and you pray according to scriptures, the Lord shall keep you. The Lord shall remove every yoke of the enemy from your heart. And the Lord shall remove every yoke of the enemy from your neck. He shall restore you and renew you. He shall revive you in the name of Jesus. Forget about the past. They might have said all kinds of things to you. You might have trusted in them and you might have committed your ways to them and you might have given your all to them and then at the end of the time, they disappointed you. They didn't come through for you. And you find yourself emotionally draining. You find yourself emotionally unstable. You find yourself struggling because you invested your all into it. And they have disappointed you. They have broken your spirit. This morning, I want to announce to you that as long as the Lord lives, and as long as you are alive, as long as you are counted amongst the living, the Lord shall protect you. He shall bring you out of the bondage. He shall bring you out of that storm. It might seem as though it's long overdue. It might seem as though there is no hope. It might seem as though you are stuck in it. But if you will only make an effort, to step out if you only make an effort to speak that i will not die here i will not allow this emotional bondage to stop me from fulfilling my dreams i will not allow this emotional bondage to stop me from going forward in life i will not allow this emotional bondage to to cripple me then you will begin to arise then you will begin to rise up then you will begin to see the favor of God show up in your life. Then you will begin to see God beginning to reshape, realign things in your life. You will not die in that pain. You will not die in that distress. You will not die in that yoke. It was meant to prepare you. Hallelujah. The man that you love so much. The woman that you love so much that you committed yourself to. One day you get a call and they say that he is no longer alive. He's dead. And because of that, that experience, emotionally you are stuck. Emotionally, you cannot move forward. You, you have fear in your heart. You are still grieving this person. You are still crying at night over this person. But the person is dead and gone. I want to announce to you that please let it go. Relieve yourself of that pain. Relieve yourself of that 
hardship relieve yourself of that difficulty let me tell you something as long as there is a time to be born there is surely going to be a time to die there is a time to sow there is a time to reap there are times and seasons there are times where things might be tough there are times that you will be wailing there are times that you'll be crying but it doesn't mean that you will cry forever it doesn't mean that you will be stuck in that situation forever it doesn't mean that god does not care about you somebody will say that i have prayed that god heal me god heal me i cannot take this pain anymore i cannot take it anymore god help me and then they don't see any sign of god coming through for them i want to announce to you that maybe god is not showing that sign yet but god is working behind the scene god is working for your good he's waiting for the the moment he's waiting for the appointed time to show up so that he will relieve you of that hardship he will relieve you of that bondage he will relieve you of that yoke my god is a mighty healer my god makes a way when there seems to be no way my god is great and mighty my god is unstoppable my god is love my god is everything that you can expect you will not die in that situation you will not die in that difficulty that spirit of suicide that has been whispering to you today we rebuke it in the name of Jesus we rebuke it in the name of Yeshua Amashiach. we rebuke it in the name of the name above every other name we rebuke any spirit of suicide you will not die before your time you will come up out of that challenge may that emotional bondage be broken of your life out away from your life in the name of Jesus for you you trusted so much in a pastor you trusted so much in a man of God and all of a sudden they disappointed you and because they disappointed you you have given up on God you do not want to have anything to do with pastors you do not want to have anything to do with church I want to announce to you that don't not allow that experience to stop you from entering into the presence of God yes that pastor is a man he's human he can offend you he can he can say things that that will break your spirit he can say things that will distort you but that doesn't mean that you have to give up on God that doesn't mean that you have to stay away from the house of God if you feel as though what the man of God did to you has broken you and as a result of that emotionally you find yourself in a bondage I want to announce to you rise up from it rise up from that experience shake it off and wipe it off push it away cast it away cast it unto the Lord seek for the Lord seek for the Lord and his righteousness seek for the kingdom of God let bygones be bygones allow God to work on your heart allow God to work on your spirit allow God to work on you do not allow your experience with another man of God hinder you and stop you from seeking the face of God do not allow whatever man of God has done to you stop you from worshiping your God 
when you sometimes ask people why they don't go to church they say that because a man of god did something so bad to me i don't believe in church anymore i don't believe in pastors anymore and when because of that they have left the presence of god that is why you are struggling when you leave the presence of god you open up yourself for all kinds of attacks you open up yourself for all kinds of orchestrations of the enemy do not allow the enemy to kill you sometimes the enemy will cause these same people that you highly respect the enemy will cause these people that you put on high pedestals in your life to do something to hurt you to say something to hurt you to do something to break your spirit and the moment they do that and you yield to that you open the door for the enemy to distort you for all you know maybe your miracle was right around the corner maybe your breakthrough was right around the corner but because you availed yourself and the devil was able to use these people that you look up to it has distorted you it has delayed your miracle it has delayed your blessings it has delayed your manifestation that emotional bondage must be broken you must come out of that broke bondage in the name of jesus another scenario you are married and all of a sudden a woman calls you and say that i have a child with your husband and because of that news your spirit man is broken because of that news everything that you are working on has become standstill and you do not know what to do you sometimes contemplate if you should end your life you sometimes contemplate if you should kill yourself you wonder if god purposefully put you in that situation to stop you to kill you i want you to know and understand that god will not allow things to happen just like that let's read the book of first corinthians chapter the number 10 verse 13 and i read no temptation has overtaken you see that situation that news that came to you that thing that was reported to you it was meant to overtake you it was meant to kill you it was meant to break you it was meant to distort you it was meant to create an edge to to hinder you to slow you down that is why it was said to you but the bible makes us understand in the book of first corinthians chapter the number 10 verse 13 and it says that no temptation has overtaken you no temptation will overtake you in the name of jesus no temptation will kill you in the name of jesus no temptation will delay your process in the name of jesus and i continue reading it says that no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man see whatever you find yourself going through somebody somewhere has gone through it before somebody somewhere has faced that challenge before somebody somewhere has experienced it before there is nothing new under the sun if somebody has been able to overcome it if somebody has been able to survive if somebody has been able to live above it then you will be able to live above it you will be able to overcome it you will be able to survive you have what it takes to come out of it you have what it takes to look at it and smile at it sometimes when i find myself in in battles and it faces storms i make mockery of it i laugh at the storm i laugh at the situation it is not going to stop me it is not going to hinder me let me tell you something sometimes some temptations come to delay you they come to hinder you they come to stop you because maybe you might have been doing something right and the only thing they can do is to find a way to stop you to find a way to delay you to find a way to bring hindrances into your life and so as a result of that 
they allow something bad to happen to you to delay the process you will come up above that storm the Lord is about to heal you that broken heart I pray that God will heal you that emotional stress I pray that God will sustain you I pray that God will heal you let me continue reading the Bible says that no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man God is faithful hallelujah and he will not let you be tempted beyond your abilities see sometimes the solution to the difficulties you find yourself in sometimes the solution to the situations you find yourself in is within you God has deposited everything that you need within you that is why I attack to this message reclaiming your power whatever you need to succeed whatever you need to make it in life it has been deposited in you but until you reclaim the power until you identify your power until you identify what God has given you you will be walking around purposeless you will be toiling and working for somebody whilst God has created you to be an entrepreneur you'll be walking around begging whilst God has created you as a source to others to, to depend on you will be walking around crying and wailing about unnecessary stuff whilst God has prepared you and God has blessed you and deposited gifts in you to be able to speak to people to help them come out of their storm to help them come out of their heartache to help them come out of that bad experience I want to announce to you when you compromise you pay a price when you compromise on the things of God you avail yourself for temptation I'm gonna tell you a story about myself once upon a time I found myself in a situation I was dealing with somebody that was suicidal and that person was so attached to me and so close to me but through it all I realized that this person was beginning to show affection like love me and all kinds of things and I was stuck in that situation for a while because I was the only person that would speak to this person and have this person have hope and so I was scared that if I walk away from this person this person might kill themselves if I walk away from this person this person I might not hear a good news and so I was stuck in that situation until I came to a realization and said that if I allow this situation to go on to prolong it will also hinder me and stop me from fulfilling the mandate the will of God in my life maybe you are that person you find yourself in a situation and then emotionally you are attached to somebody you are scared to leave because you when you leave you are scared that the person will kill themselves when you leave you are scared that the person will do something bad to themselves and as a result of that you are stuck my brother i pray that that will not be your story i pray that god will liberate you out of that bondage i pray that god will emancipate you out of that bondage i pray that god will set you out of that bondage in the name of jesus and the bible says that no temptation has overtaken you that is not common to man god is faithful he will not let you be tempted beyond your abilities but with the temptation he will also provide a way of escape today god is providing a way of escape for you that you may be able to endure it life is full of events and life is full of experiences life is full of things that we least expect but it doesn't mean that when they happen we have to stay still 
and then move on. It doesn't mean that we should allow the storms that come in our life to stop us from fulfilling, fulfilling our purpose in life. It doesn't mean that we have to allow circumstances to stop us. That man said he doesn't want to marry you. And your life has come to a standstill. Hey, my sister, get up from it. Arise out of it. Shake it off. Move on. God will provide for you. Don't waste your time crying over a spilled milk. Regardless of whatever you do, the milk is spilled. Regardless of whatever you do, that situation has happened. The next thing you have to do is move on. Do not stay there and cry all night and wail all night whilst God has prepared a greater place for you. Sometimes the devil will plant people in your life. They will show up and look as though they are meant for you, but they are not meant for you. Sometimes when God, when the devil sees that God is about to bless you, he makes a counterfeit show up. And when the counterfeit shows up, it distracts and distorts and changes your attention, diverts your attention. And you lose focus. And then this counterfeit will lead you on and lead you on and disappoint you. And break your spirit. But I want to announce to you, as long as our God lives, you can and you will overcome this in the name of Jesus. There is a guy, his girlfriend told him that he doesn't want him anymore. And as a result of that, he goes home, sad, goes to his bed and takes all kinds of medications. His mother's medication, everything, puts it together and takes it and drinks it and ends its life. Let me tell you, the devil sometimes will allow things like this to you so that when you give up, they will laugh at you. They are waiting to make mockery of you. They are waiting to name you names. They are waiting to laugh at you. Do not allow that situation to stop you. Lift up your head high. Keep pushing. Keep moving on. Do not look back. Keep pushing. I understand now why God will tell his children he said I am about to save you from this former land but in the process when I bring you out do not turn your back do not turn your back and watch what is going on do not look at what is going on don't turn around and look. Hallelujah. Sometimes we focus on our past. And because we focus on our past, we are blinded about our future. Do not focus on your past. Allow your past to remain your past. And avail yourself for greater works. And greater events and experiences in your future in the name of Jesus I'm not going to prolong this message next week I'll be talking about physical bondage see let me tell you people are dying because of a lot of unresolved emotional situations people are killing themselves because of a lot of unresolved emotional problems but i pray for you that it will not be your prop it will not be your story i pray for you that god will lift you up i pray for you that you will find the door to come out of that emotional bondage keep on moving on don't allow your past to stop you don't allow anything to hinder you you have what it takes. You have what it takes to come out.
Once upon a time, the Lord visited Lot. And he said that I'm going to bring you out of this land of abomination. But when I bring you out, on your way out, don't look back. In the book of Genesis chapter the number 19 verse 24. But when they came out, the, the wife, the wife turned into a pillar of salt because of disobedience. I want to announce to you that sometimes don't look back. Keep moving on and the Lord shall come through for you. The Lord shall keep you. He will protect you. Let's share a word of prayer and I'll bring my sermon to an end. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for the lives and the souls that heard my, cry, heard my voice today. I give you the glory and honor. Father, I pray that you will bring them up above and you will save them out of this emotional bondage. May they be healed in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray that you, God, will arise in their lives and you will sustain them. Let them not die before their time. Sustain them. I speak against any suicidal spirit and I speak against any spirit of failure and anybody that is at the point and at the verge of throwing in the towel and giving up in life. That God, sustain them, keep them. Let them know that indeed you are God. Show up in their time of need. We give you the glory and honor and we seal this prayer with the blood of Jesus. We pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Shalom, peace. This is your brother Norbert, live on AAR Radio. Uh, next week, I'll be coming your way next Saturday. I also say that next Saturday, join us. We have a brother, um, Elder Set. He will be um, preaching in the local dialect. And then after me, after him, I'll be on. So, Elder Set, may God equip you. May God use you for greater things. I pray that may God, or I pray that God will open greater doors for you. And then you'll be a blessing to many generations. God bless you wherever you are. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Take care. Shalom. Peace. This is your brother Norbert. Have a wonderful week or weekend. Bye-bye.